those questions about China and the Penn Biden Center where the classified docs were found. Now, more receipts, <clears throat> more receipts to show that Biden is, is owned by the Chinese government. The CCP owns Biden. They're giving him money. They're giving his son money. They're giving his brother money. They own them. And um, and this is more evidence to that fact. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. All right, let's talk about this news. It was quite the bombshell when it dropped on Monday that Joe Biden had classified documents kept in his office at the Penn Biden Center in Washington, D.C., documents from the time he was vice president. Unlike a president, he doesn't have the cover of the Presidential Records Act and he didn't have the power to declassify anything. Plus, since the center was founded in 2018 and he left the vice presidency in January 2017, they had to have uh, been kept someplace else in the meantime, even before they got uh, to the center. So that raises additional questions about when he knew about them. But you may recall that um, it, it, it was um, it was discovered that um, Penn Biden Center uh, in the past, the center had drawn the attention of a watchdog group because it refused to be transparent about the sources of his funding. So follow the money. You just got to follow the money. Back in 2020, the National Legal and Policy Center filed a complaint to get them to disclose the sources of their funding. Um, as it was reported, quote, between March 2017 and the end of 2019, the University of Pennsylvania received a total of $61 million in gifts and contracts from China, 21 million of which was anonymous gifts. The university received $15.8 million in anon anonymous Chinese gifts in the year Biden created the Penn Biden Center, including one eye-popping $14.5 million donation in May 2018 record show. This is how they do it. They fund these libraries and these other things, these institutions and things like that, and they get don they receive donations from um, from these corrupt governments. This is how they get their money. It's so corrupt. It's so corrupt. Um, as uh, Red State reported at the time, quote, the donations included a 502, $502,750 dollars monetary gift in October 2017 from the State Administration of Foreign Experts Affairs, a Chinese government agency that helps administer the regime's thousands talents plan. Federal prosecutors claim the program is linked to Chinese espionage operations at American universities and had prosecuted academics for hiding their involvement in it. Other contributors including China's Zhejiang University, the um, China Merchant Bank, and the China Everbright Group, a state-owned investment group, according to federal records. I mean, this is crazy, right? And that's not all. The Biden Center is part of the University of Pennsylvania's Penn Global Department, headed by Biden's campaign health care advisor, Ezekiel Emanuel, which handles the university's foreign research and outreach programs. The programs have become increasingly focused on China in recent years, According to the Penn Global website, the university has, quote, over 20 international partnerships with Chinese institutions and has conducted over 350 research projects and institutional activities in China. Man, this is just follow the money. This is, this, this is why I keep saying China owns our president. They funded him. They've given him so much money, him and his son, Hunter Biden, and of course, like I said earlier, and, and his brother, Jim, as well. But in 2020, a University of Pennsylvania spokesman denied that any anonymous Chinese money had gone to the center. But when you aren't transparent about the sources of your funding, there are all kinds of Chinese money pouring in. And we already uh, see all the questions about the Bidens and China. 
I don't think you accept the simple denial without further information about where all the funding came from. There are all kinds of games people play when it comes to funding. And when you see all the Chinese connections to the university, we have to also ask about what the documents were and does this raise any connections to China? We all know, uh, we all know um, um, that had this been President Donald Trump, the Democrats would have been would have seen these connections and seen uh, screaming espionage. So imagine if this was Donald Trump and his his and he was he was in Penn University and um, Russia was donating all this money to the university and to that organization. What do you think? What What do you think the media would be doing right now? I mean, this is you just you got to look at that and and the thing is the sad thing is the mainstream media will, will they're going to be disinterested in this and they're going to cape for and make excuse and continue to make excuses for joe biden but let me know what you think leave your comments down below like share subscribe and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news until next time peace